Welcome back to the Talking With My Hans channel, everybody. This is my review of Chapter 12 of The Mandalorian titled The Siege. These are kind of fun reviews to do because I mix in my live reactions to the episode with the actual review, so you as the viewer get the best of both worlds. Who's scruffy looking? First of all, thank you so much for the support on these reviews. Last week was hectic, but I'm glad so many of you came out and watched anyway, even though it was a few days late. Of course, as always, I appreciate all of you that leave a like and a comment and are subscribed to the channel because it goes a long way to helping our little community grow. Okay, so about chapter 13, what an episode. Here's a quick synopsis in the unlikely event you haven't seen or read any other reviews. After the patchwork job done on the Trask to the Razor Crest, Din and the child have no other option than to go back to Navarro to get repairs they can trust from some old friends. Even though Navarro has been cleaned up for the most part, Din, Kara, Grief, and that mithril blue guy decide to clear out the last of the Imperials at an old outpost. But surprise, <sighs> the base and its secrets end up being heavily guarded, and the group learns that Moff Gideon is still after the child for his secret project. This is the first episode in the series that was directed by Carl Weathers. He's not a first time director, but most of his work has been on a smaller scale. It's safe to say that this is his most notable directing credit, and he hit it out of the ballpark. For someone whose highest profile directing gig was an episode of Hawaii Five-0, this was a spectacular leap into big budget film style producing. However, not to the entire fault of Mr. Weathers, the writing of this episode was not quite what I expect out of The Mandalorian. It's hard to put into words. It had a very 1970s Star Wars vibe to it. That, of course, sounds like a good thing, but in the case of Chapter 13, it came off as, this sounds really good on paper, but every time I read it, it sounds corny. It wasn't even the whole episode either, just a few scenes here and there I was caught off guard by some of the lines. And I know Gina Carano has been catching a lot of flack online recently, and I am not going to get into all of that, but her acting was probably this episode's weakest link. Last season, she didn't particularly put on an Oscar-worthy performance, but she really didn't do a terrible job either. Even this week, she had a great moment at the end of the episode, but it just seemed like she wasn't comfortable with the action scenes. In the middle of the battle, she was quiet and stale and just sort of mumbled through her lines. Her wrestling with the troop transport was just cringeworthy at points. Now, even with all that being said, this was the most fun I've had watching an episode of The Mandalorian this season. And in all honesty, I have no idea why. Was it another great cold open? I mean, just fantastic. Every open so far has been really, really good in this show. I've been thoroughly enjoying the second season opens. Was it the jokes? <laughs> Was it the action? Oh my God, this show's gotten so brutal in one season, it's crazy. I really have no clue. It might have been all three. I laughed throughout the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> the cold open with Din trying to tell the child what wire goes where on the circuit board was hilarious. He just knew he was going to touch the two and then bam. <laughs> He does it, and it's still funny. The banter with the blue mithril guy is classic. I never thought I'd be thrilled to have him back, but he was great in this episode. <laughs> the action this episode was spectacular. Ooh. We've been blessed with some great sequences so far, even just in season two. The battle against the Krayt Dragon, the run-in with the spiders on the snow planet, and the shootout on board the Gazanti were all highlights of this season. But wow, was the shootout in the canyon really something fun. I really felt like they were moving super fast through the canyon. 
It's hard to capture that sort of speed in animation, but in live action, you can really tell how fast they're going. The speeder bikes zipping behind the transport, slowly getting picked off, all leading up to the squadron of ties that came swooping in. The suspense was so high because Grief couldn't shoot for his life, and then it finally looks like they're about to get blown to bits, and Mando and Baby Yoda come to save the day. Wow, was that awesome. Yeah, boy! All in all, was this the best written episode of The Mandalorian? No. Was it the best acted episode of The Mandalorian? No. Was this the most fun I've had this season watching the show? Absolutely. What did you guys think? Was it one of your favorites too? Let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.